Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? It's me Tobias here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for cover songs, reviews, and vlogs. Today I have a wireless microphone review by a company called Fifine. And we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing right now, followed by a demo and a review. So let's go ahead and start unboxing this thing. You can get this microphone for about um, $30 on Amazon. That's where I got it. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. This microphone costs $30, making it pretty affordable. Um, one thing about this microphone is that I think it would be ideal for like karaoke because it's wireless and you won't have to worry about people like tripping over it and stuff. And then also at a price of $30, you're not going to have to worry about like some drunk person like dropping your microphone and like messing it up. So, okay. Whoa, cool. Let me go ahead and show you what's in here. So inside we got some, looks like contact info, um, followed by, this is probably like the instructions. Um, okay, let's go ahead and look at this. Nice, there's the actual microphone. Cool. And there should be a receiver in here. It's padded pretty well. Um, yeah, here's a receiver right here. It has a quarter inch jack, you just plug this into like your... PA system or like your interface, whatever. So just from what I'm reading right now on the Amazon page, the batteries should last for a full five hours if you're using like decent quality batteries. And probably what everybody wants to know is what the range of the wireless microphone is. It is supposed to be 65 feet as long as you're in range, it says. So I'm assuming that um, it's 65 feet as long as you're not going behind like any walls or anything. That's what I'm guessing it means But we are gonna go ahead and test that today So for this next part I'm gonna go ahead and plug the receiver into my PreSonus Fire Studio interface And I'm going to run it through Logic Pro without any effects or any plugins or anything like that Just to show you guys the pure quality of the microphone without you know anything Distorting the audio quality like the microphone of my camera. So I want to show you guys the pure quality of the microphone but before I do that, I am going to have to get some batteries. It looks like the microphone, I think it takes AA batteries and the receiver takes AAA. Okay. Ah, oh, nice, green light. Okay, it looks like the microphone takes two AA's. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Um, it looks like there are multiple channels on the microphone, so I'm assuming that's to avoid interference, especially if you have maybe two microphones. Instructions are saying that when the receiver and the microphone are both on, the receiver light should turn from green to red, and then you'll know that they're paired correctly. Hello, microphone check, one, two, one, two. So now you're hearing this microphone going through the interface, being recorded into Logic Pro. So we're hearing the pure sound from this microphone. It sounds very good. I have no complaints about it so far. Um, so dynamic microphones like this one, you have to speak or sing right into the top of it. Let's just see how it sounds when I move the microphone around. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. All right, let's test the distance from the microphone to my mouth. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check. So you really have to be pretty close to the microphone. The good thing about that is for a lot of amateurs, if you're trying to set up a sound system, say you're doing karaoke at your house or you're like practicing with a band or something, you might get feedback a lot. But I feel like with the sensitivity being pretty close to the microphone, like the sensitivity range, um, you might avoid feedback more that way because you'll be less likely to pick up sound from the speaker if you know what I'm talking about. So the next thing we're going to have to test is the range. So we're gonna have to go do this outside because I don't really have enough room in here. All right guys, we're outside now. I'm about to test the range of the microphone. And I was just looking on the Amazon page again. 
Um, here it says, right here it says the range is about 65 feet within sight. But then up here it says um, work in the range of over 80 feet. So I'm actually quite confident that this microphone will reach over 65 feet. Um, so this is where I'm going to do it. Um, so we're counting the interface will be right there with the receiver. So from there to the back where that wall is all the way back there, that's roughly 65 feet. So let's go because um, the way I counted is like each one of these squares of concrete on the ground is roughly five feet. So um, it, it, the microphone should work from where I'm standing right now all the way to that back wall. All right, check, check, here we are. We're pretty close to the receiver. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving back. I won't actually be able to hear if the microphone cuts in or out, but it shouldn't cut out because this is around 50, sorry, 65 feet. Here we go. Check, 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 microphone check. Is it still working? Is it still working? I'm gonna go all the way back. We're going for 65 feet. My parents are sitting back here. I don't know if you guys could see them. Everybody say hello. I'm still talking. Oh, you wanna say hi, mom? Here's my mom right here. Hi there, I'm just checking out this microphone and it sounds pretty good. But you can't hear you can't hear it because it's recording the computer. <laughs> Alright guys. Do you guys hear any background noise? That's another thing we'll look for because I don't think you should. You shouldn't hear any background noise because the sensitivity is so close. And now we're at the full 60, 65 feet from the receiver. So let's see. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna start making my way back see if the uh see if the quality changes i won't know until i play this back on my computer check 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 here we go 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 walk 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 check 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 and we're back we're back right by the receiver all right guys i just played back what we just recorded um doing the distance test like the range of the microphone and it sounded like the quality did not change. One thing is that my parents were talking to me when I was back there, but you could not, the microphone did not pick it up. So that's good. It's only picking up what's happening like right here, which is pretty good because if you're in like a loud room or something, you don't want the microphone picking up any background noise. That's definitely a plus. So let's go head back to the room. And so far this microphone's looking pretty good guys for 30 bucks. Like I don't think you can go wrong with this. All right guys, for the next part of this video, I'm going to do like a song demonstration. I'm just going to like sing a song. So you guys could hear what, what it sounds like when someone's singing through the microphone. I'm going to sing Lucid Dreams by Juice World just because like I've had that song like stuck in my head. I'm just going to sing like the, the beginning part. Adam on the beat. I still see your shadows in my room. You can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where I love and I hate you. And I cannot change you so I must replace you. Oh. Easier said than done I thought you were the one Listening to my heart instead of my head You found another one But I am the better one I won't let you forget me I still see your shadows in my room Can't take back the love that I gave you It's to the point where I love and I hate you And I cannot change you So I must replace you oh, Easier said than done I thought you were the one Listening to my heart instead of my head found another one but I am the better one I won't let you forget me alright guys so now I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my final review for the Fifine K025 wireless microphone um, there are about four points that I usually look for in almost every product one of them is reliability um, another one is quality another one is price and another one is functionality um, obviously I just got this microphone and I have only used it today so I haven't had it long enough to know how reliable it is, but it's definitely been reliable throughout today. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, the quality the quality feels pretty good. There's some pretty good weight to it, and I don't know, it just seems like nice. Then there is the price. It's definitely an affordable price, especially, like I think it's a very good, um, I guess what's the word for it? A very good value, $30 for this wireless microphone. That's pretty good. And then there's the functionality. Um, I pretty much was able to just plug this in and use it right off the bat. Another thing I kind of like about it, which some people might be on the fence about it, is that it does use regular batteries. 
And I guess that could be a good thing or a bad thing. The bad thing would be that you have to buy batteries all the time. But the thing that I do like about it is say that if you're in the middle of using it and you're having like a party or you're performing or you're speaking in public somewhere and the microphone all of, a, all of a sudden your batteries run out, you can go ahead and just pop new batteries in there and it'll work right away opposed to other things where you might have to take a certain amount of time to charge it. So I do like that it actually uses batteries. Um, and the functionality of it is very simple. Like I was able to just plug it in and use it right away. It was very simple to use. I didn't really, I barely even had to look at the instructions. So for me guys, I give, I definitely give this product two thumbs up. I would probably recommend getting this if you are in the market for a um, affordably priced wireless microphone. Um, my family, we have like a big pool party like at the end of the summer every year and we always have karaoke and we're definitely gonna use this microphone this year because um, we were using like regular wired XLR like microphones before this and not having the cables is definitely gonna like be a big plus. So I'm like very satisfied with this microphone so far. So anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up my review. Um, if you've never seen any of my other videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I do cover songs, I do vlogs, and I do the occasional review from time to time. If you like what you see there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give me a like. That really helps me out. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.